What's up, everybody? It's Mods Cage Radio. Quick little uh, blog here. Uh, I'm going to head out. I've got the car all packed up. I'm going to head out to uh, Turlock, California, Up and Comer 6. If you guys are not coming out to Up and Comer 6 to see my man Angel Deonda take on Marcus Gaines or uh, Justin Smitley versus Adrian Diaz and the rest of the card escapes my mind, they're, I don't know, I think 12 fights, 11 fights, something like that. Uh, it's a pro-am, so there's amateur and pros on that. Jeremiah Metcalf is on that card. Uh, looks to be absolutely uh, phenomenal card. And then you got uh, Twilight Fight Night, uh, the first one ever out in Woodlake, California. Uh, Doug the Rhino Marshall. Let's see, I guess he's on that side. Doug the Rhino Marshall, Dangerous Steve Ramirez, Warpath, uh, Carter Williams, Joey Cabasis. Uh, Sergio Quinones is on there, um, Art Becerra, and uh, quite a few other local fighters, as well as some fighters from around uh, the state, uh, such as uh, Chris Brady, who will take on Art Becerra, okay, out of Legends MMA. Shout out to Legends MMA, my man Jock. Um, not going to make it out there tonight, my man. I have to apologize for that. Our team is spread kind of thin. I got my man Isaac De Jesus, the boys from Thrive Fitness. Uh, we'll be out at the Twilight Fight Night with my man James from Parts Unknown, who will cover the uh, event for me, get the quick results, etc. and so forth. I will be at Up and Cover 6, which is in Turlock, California, last night. I went to Modesto, California to, to check out the weigh-ins. Is that something called uh, Hero Sports Bar? I don't believe it's still open in Fresno, but they used to have one in uh, downtown Fresno. And uh, it was a good little spot for uh, motorcycle runs and whatnot. So um, I don't even remember. I went on a run, and that was actually one of the stops, one of the rides I went on. But anyway, um, pretty packed last night. A um, lot of fight fans, a lot of the fight fans, families, etc., and so forth in the building. Um, man, I don't know what they got in the water over there, but, uh, I know they got a thick creek somewhere because there was some thickness up in this motherfucker, okay? Straight up, badass country girls, that's all I'm saying. Shout out to Modesto, I had no idea. Holy shit, okay. Uh, Mike Christensen just, uh, hit me up on Facebook. He faced us as a little punk, uh... Brady Anderson, who got loose on Facebook the other night, but I didn't even want to put him in check because it was the uh, project's Facebook page. And uh, kid's really not ready for my talk shit, too. Nice ink, by the way. Why don't you call Mark Matthews and get your whole fucking body covered? Because your, your ink, my friend, and you're not even my friend, you fag, is garbage. Yeah, the whole thing is garbage. Biatch. Okay, that's all I got on that fucking cunt. So, um, like I said, I'm going to uh, mob out Turlock, California. Angel Deonda in action. Uh, Angel of Death. 203 yesterday. It's supposed to hit the scales at 205. I don't know what the deal is, man. That dude could be down to 185 by, by the fight tonight. I mean, the pounds are just coming off this guy. So, um, yeah, people like my... Uh, my blast that I hit the project with today. So, um, my talk shit is still pretty, pretty legendary. All right. Uh, and then I handed out, uh, a, a talk shit to, uh, black belt, uh, to, to my man, Cole Escobedo for some quality talk shit to that he dropped on Facebook. Uh, it was so epic that the UFC actually called him to, uh, make sure everything was okay. So let's just, let's leave it at that. All right, so another black belt holder, uh, Chris Patello, Cole Escobedo, currently my only two black belt talk shih tzuists. There are a lot of uh, blue belts and brown belts around the area. Um, some white belts that I don't even know if they're ever even going to make it out of their white belt stage. They, they come at me with some weak bullshit. And I mean, I cannot unleash some of these deadly kicks. I mean... It could end these these young cats' careers, you know, with some of the the verbal uh, submissions that come out of my face. So, uh, shout out to uh, Ulysses Gomez. I'm be civil to you for one more day. Then on Monday, you can fuck off. 
because the Broncos suck piles of fucking dick, okay? Raider motherfucking nation, get your little fucking per diem together. I'll see you December fucking 2nd, okay, in the fucking whatever the hell the restaurant is. I don't even know what the fuck it's called. We're going to be there. You're going to be feeding me. Denver Broncos suck. War Raider Nation. If you don't know, you better motherfucking ask somebody. Um, follow me on Twitter, and I will tweet all the results tonight from um, Up and Cumber 6. And if I can get my man James to text me the results from Twilight Fight Night, which that's what I'm going to tell him to do, I will also post those. So um, that's pretty much I, all I got. I uh, will see you guys with all the results. Obviously, I will have fight video uh, to bring you guys from Up and Cumber 6 and uh, the quick results from Twilight Fight Night, the first one. All right, so that's pretty much all I got for everybody at the show. That would be me, as always. Good night, all!